and wind overnight. Doug, we want to take a live look from our Lambo cam this morning and see how it looks out there. It looks a little wet. We heard rain come through. We saw lightning. We even heard some thunder and we did have a couple of storms. Like we said, rumble through the area overnight into this morning. Take a look at this picture Kim sent to us. This is of lightning near Main Street in De Pere. Cool. Pretty cool picture. Thank you so much, Kim, for sharing that photo with us. So many people are wondering, will any more lightning or thunder be passing through our area? Doug, you have the answer. I do, and boy, was that lightning frequent and furious earlier this morning. Now, the bulk of that, that whole storm that moved through on into lower Michigan, that, that is the huge amount of rain. We're left behind with a couple isolated thunder showers on the radar. You can see those showing up, especially uh, uh, west of Green Bay. You've got a little thunder shower near Shano, a little more rain towards Clintonville and back over towards Stevens Point. Uh, heavier rain between Jackson Point and Sister Bay that continues to move to the north northeast. So a little lightning with that, but not a lot, not compared to like what we saw around three o'clock this morning and pretty quiet weather for now. Appleton, Nina and Oshkosh, most areas just seeing a little bit of drizzle. Other than that, temperatures very mild. We're talking mid 60s when you step outside the door this morning. Here's how the rest of your forecast plays out. Could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm through about noon. So I've got that in the forecast. 69 degrees at noon, 72. We're going to be mostly cloudy, but then by the afternoon, partly sunny skies peak out. Our high hitting 76.